decided to do today was um, well this well this weekend depending how long it takes us to do it was to port Myriad in Pi Game. A lot of people have been buying Raspberry Pis and um, we we had a success. I think it was a successful series where we wrote a Python bot for Twitch, and so. I thought we could uh, write a game in Pygame and try and do it together. So there is a there is a repo in my GitHub. <laughs> yes, that's what she says. She says she'll keep the coffee flowing. <laughs> there is a there is a repo in my GitHub. So. Uh, da, 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 where is it? I've just created it. it. Should be on. It should be on the first thing. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Too late for a coffee. Right. So let's. Uh... So this is a bare bones repo. So. It's got the template, the Pi, the Pi game template that we did many, many, many moons ago. And I've also put a workspace in there to allow you to disable, um, to allow you to disable extensions like the kick extension because it does get in the way when you're doing it. And so this is public. It's not private, it's public, it's going to be available, and during the stream, I'm going to be doing commits to the repo. So you, if you fork it, uh, you'll be able to do then fetches to get, so if you see on the stream that I've just pushed it to the repo, then you'll be able to get it, alright? There will be a live share, but I'm not too sure if allowing people to modify is going to... Is, I think this fraught with more danger than, than, than benefits. <laughs> so, let me let me fire up the, the live share. Or oh, do I make do I make it do I make it a read only one? Ooh. <laughs> Do I, do I, do I? Do I dare it? Do I dare it? We'll make it read only to start with. We'll make it read only. Right, this is for all, for all my patrons, yeah? So if you're a patron or a Twitch subscriber, if you go to my Discord, right, and you go to the patron channel, there's the live stream link. So if you want to join live, on here by all means click the link you can have a web version I think or you can have it in VS code if you've got VS code now can you tell me if that is big enough for you is that code big enough for you or do I need to make it any bigger let's get the admin out of the way Consensus all right, or does it need to be bigger? <laughs> Not that blind yet. Because <laughs> I've found a setting. I found a setting in in um, VS Code where you can make the text massive, but everything else is still the same. Right. So you live sharing. Right. So. Python is a modern language, yeah? And one thing that came out of doing the bot was people were struggling with the class terminology, yeah? So we're going to be using classes in, in the game, yeah? 
And I'm going to try and explain what classes are without going into too much techie detail. I will try. I will try. <laughs> so, a class. So, everybody knows that a program contains variables and a program contains functions. Yeah? Functions do stuff. Variables hold stuff, yeah? So a variable will hold a number, text, whatever, pictures, whatever, and functions do the do. They are executed, they do the do, yeah? So, imagine you're an architect, you're a building architect. You draw blueprints for a brand new building and each page of the blueprint shows how the building's going to how the building's going to be built, or um, scaffold or whatever you want to call it. It basically shows a person before the, even the building's built how it's going to look, what we need to make it work, what materials need, and it's a blueprint. It's a, a thing that will tell a builder how to build that house yeah and so you give it to a builder the builder then takes those blueprints and then makes it happen into a house yeah well classes are the same classes are like blueprints right in a class you would write the functions that make that class work you write the very Sorry. Sorry, OT, but you have the assets and in the repo they're not there. Yes, because I haven't committed them yet. All right. Hence why the green. All right. So, back to classes. Yeah. A class is a, uh, like I say, it's, it's a blue out of context okay <laughs> a class is a blueprint right you in that class you will write the code that makes whatever the class is meant to do do it and you will have properties in the class that will hold the information for that class yeah so like a program has variables that hold information and a program has functions that perform whatever it needs to do a class has functions that perform what it needs to do and properties that hold the information about that class. Now the beauty of classes is you write code, you write the code that it's dedicated to the class. Yeah, You write the code that is only relevant for that class. So for example, if we try and generalize loosely, if we had a car, right? A car could be classed as a class, right? Because it would have properties like model, make, year, color, um, no, number of doors, um, and other attributes, yeah? Now, a car itself will have functions like open door, yeah? And open boot and stuff like that. But the car class will contain other classes because what you do is a class can go down to the at atomic level, yeah? So a car contains four wheels. So they would be four, a, an array of four wheel classes and a wheel would have properties like rim size, um, tire dimensions, um, um, hub, number of spokes in the hub, you know, that sort of thing, yeah? Now, it wouldn't have any functions because all the tire does is go round, yeah? But, but like, on the flip side, if you go to the engine point of view, if you say the cla there's a class called engine, then the engine would have properties like engine size, number of cylinders, turbocharge, yes or no, blah, blah, blah. 
And it will also add functions called uh, rev up, rev down, switch on, turn off, and all that sort of thing. So this is how classes, this is how I'm trying to generalize a very complex, um, a, a very complicated, oh, I won't say complicated, but a complex. What's the setting to change VS Code editors size only? Opening workspace messed up my, yeah, because in workspace I've set, that in workspace I've put a thing to set the font size. So if you don't want it, just remove it, yeah? That's why, because that's why it's made my font big, yeah? All right. I just thought that a few people out there may be as blind as I am and need it big. All right, so does, does, does that an, an analogy help you understand what a class can be, yeah? Does it help? Do I, do I need to mm, do more examples? I mean, the one I use, the one I use at work, the one I use at work when I'm teaching, um, when I'm teaching programmers that are not, that, that are not, um, some of them that come out of the university are not very good, but there we go. Interns, because we have a lot of interns, yeah? We have a lot of t interns, and so we try and, we try and help the interns um, with their studies. So the thing I the thing I try and explain for classes is the humble writing instrument. Yeah, for example, here is a pen. Um, here is a felt tip. I got a pencil somewhere, but there we go. But Using the humble writing instrument, you can demonstrate class very easily, yeah? Because the writing instrument is a class of its own. The, it would be the base class, which is the writing instrument. Then you would have properties in that would say whether one property would be type of writing instrument, which is, is it a biro? Is it a fountain pen? Is it a pencil? Is it a mechanical pencil? They're the type of writing instruments. And then for, for example, pencil, you know, you would have a class that inherits the writing instrument that then you can then attach even more properties to it. So like pencil would have hardness, you know, lead hardness, color, you know, as in whether it's a colored pencil or not and stuff like that. Biros would be, you know, is it a push one or is it just a normal one? Biros can have two halves, you know, what's the colour of the bottom half, what's the colour of the top half, and stuff like that. And fountain pens, same thing, nib size, nib, nib style, uh, colour of ink, um, cartridge size, they're all the same thing. But the, the, the root class would be called writing instrument, and all that would have all the information about the basic writing instrument, and then you'd create a pencil class a biro class, a, wa a fountain plane class, and, and so on and so forth. And that's how classes uh, work, and that's the beauty of classes. And we're gonna do that sort of thing here as well, because we're gonna have a base class. We're going to create ourselves a base class that's going to have all the base functions and properties that everything's gonna use, yeah? And from that base class, we're gonna create a player class, we're gonna create a an alien class, we're gonna create a bullet class, we're gonna create an explosion class, because they all will share the same fundamental code, but we tweak it, because a player will have controls. Um, enemies would have AI, uh, bullets will be testing if I hit something. You know, explosions basically, I wanna blow up, type thing. So, does does that help those people that were struggling with classes? Does that analogy help? Hopefully when we start doing it, you will feel a bit better about it. 
Now, while, while I'm waiting for the answer, I've got, as you can see <laughs> at the bottom, I have many VS codes open, right? So I have got the very first Pi game stuff I did a long, long time ago. The tutorials, episode 8, 9, 10, because we're going to do something that's in there. We're going to utilize what we've done in there as well. I've also got um, Hunchback. So Hunchback is in my in the repo. So if you want to see what I'm doing in Hunchback, it's there. And we're going to be taking a few things from Hunchback that I've learned in Hunchback. We've also got Pyroids. Where is it? There it is, that's pyroids. Because there's going to be some things in there that I'm going to be stealing as well. Am I going to be saying how to install Pygame? Well, the whole point of this is that you would you would be developing it on a Raspberry Pi, which has Pygame installed already. If you haven't, then all you have to do is just go to pygame.org and i think there's a download in here somewhere oh there we go if you've got python you just type pip install pi game yeah so pip install pi game like that yeah so if you've got python installed then you should be able to just do pip install pygame and that will install pygame for you. All right, but I've got my Pi 4 already spooled up. It's ready to go. I mean, uh, this one. Yep, got it already spooled up, ready to go. So we can test whatever we do on the Pi, yeah? But the guys have got um, Pi 400s and stuff like that, yeah? So I was hoping that they would be probably playing on that, yeah? But if you haven't got a Raspberry Pi, you can still do it on a PC like I'm doing here. The only reason I'm doing it on the PC is because when we did the test on Saturday, was it Saturday or Sunday? Um, the Raspberry Pi doesn't do live share. All right. So, the bare bones template. The bare bones template has a the main program, and this is the program that's basically this is the thing we'll be running all the time. And what we're doing, we're importing the game class. Is everything all right? Oh, okay. You're gonna what? What? You're watching movies. Okay, what movie? <laughs> okay. Pi Ford is for an Amiga in my case. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so we've got a class called game. We, cr we create, so when you instantiate a class, it's like giving the blueprint to a builder and then they build a building, yeah? Boom, build in build. Same here, we are building a game object out of the game class and we're calling it G for game, yeah? Then there's a function in there that says show start screen and we'll, we'll go to that. There's a function that says new, game over screen and whether it's running or not. So they're the basic things in the game. So if we go to the game object, which is this one. Now, Classes have default meth default functions that you must call that you must call for it to be to work as a class. Because if you don't, then sometimes it just it just operates as a data a complex data class. And I'll show you what a complex data class can look like. Yeah. So there are many there are many internal methods right if you do def and then underscore underscore you'll see all the different all the different internal methods right and the one we're doing is init 
And basically that's what that's doing is telling Pygame or Python more 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 Python that this class is going to be initialized in this state, right? So for the game class <laughs> for the game class we're initializing Pygame, yeah? Because we've imported Pygame as PG. So we've We've given Pygame an alias, a PG, because it can get a bit monotonous typing Pygame all the time. So we're calling it PG, yeah? Then we're going to initialize the mixer. That's the sound extension for Pygame, so we can play um, sound files and stuff like that. This creates the window. This is creates the window that we're going to play it in, yeah? Then we set the title of the window. We start the clock. We start the Pi game clock. And what that means is that um, we start the clock and then we tell it how many ticks there are. Yeah. And those ticks will be frames per second. Yeah. And so that's why we have the clock. And our initial state says that the game is currently running. Then we've got a, met a method that we write. It's not required for the, uh, get the Python. This is what we write. And this basically sets up the game. So we're gonna, the, the, we'll set up all the, the we'll set up all the class collections. We'll set up the player class. We'll set up the, um, the, um, array, the, elements array class and all the other sort of things and then we tell it right run the game I've set everything up run the game and then this is our game loop so if you imagine imagine 6502 this is our game loop it will go round and round and round and what it's doing right because we're set we've created a another property that says playing equals true so while playing it's gonna go round and round and round, yeah? And what it does, it executes, it goes round and then waits for the next tick. And then when that tick, the clock tick happens, it goes round again and round again. So this, this, that line is effectively our raster delay, yeah? Our raster delay. And what we're doing, we're telling it how many frames a second we want to run. So we can say 30, we can, they want, we want this game to run at 30 frames a second. We want this game to run at 15 frames a second. We want this game to run at 60 frames a second or even higher if we can get away with it. Yeah. So this is our raster, this is our raster's delay. So in 6502, we'd wait for the raster to finish the page and then we'd start the game loop. Yeah. And it's the same sort of technology that the clock, when it comes to the clock, you say, Please wait for a tick, and I've got 60 ticks in this for, in this for second. So it waits, and then when that tick happens, it moves on. And so we've got events, and that events is where we are doing the controls. You know, we we listen for controls, so left and right, fire, blah blah blah. Update. That's where we update everything. We update the um, the elements AI. We update the player. We update the bullets. We update the explosions. We update everything. Yeah. And as you can see, self to update is just one thing, but it's going to be doing quite a lot. When we get all this class class stuff done, it's going to be doing quite a lot. And then, final, last but not least, we tell it to draw everything. We tell it draw everything. Right. It's not like the 64 when you can say poke what. 1024,5 it, and it instantly appears no we've got to tell it to draw we've got to tell it to draw on the screen yeah so our default update is we're going to be updating all the sprites that are in that sprite collection yeah and I'll get to sprite collections and stuff like that so don't worry we'll get there we've got a default event now this basically is checking for the quit have we quit if we have, we're going to say set playing to false, which will then jump us out of this loop, and then set running to false, which will jump us out of this loop to set, to quit the game. Yeah. 
And then the drawing, well, this is the basic drawing. So we're basically gonna fill the screen with black. We're gonna tell it to draw all the screen, uh, all the sprites on that screen that we've just specified. And then flip, right? So when we draw to the screen, yeah, it doesn't really appear until we tell it to, yeah? And that's what flip does, it flips the screen. You all right? No, what are you watching? What movie? That movie? What movie? That book. What book? I have no idea what you're talking about. You're not watching uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, are you? Are you? Oh no. <laughs> There's going to be funny noises coming from downstairs. <laughs> No, I'm on about the video. I'm on about the movie. <laughs> right, so we have to flip, yeah? And that's when the... <laughs> hey, Doctor. So, that's this is the basic... Um, pie game template that I wrote many many moons ago I don't I can't remember when I wrote it let's have a look when's when was the repo created let's have a look when was the repo created does it say ah here we go template yeah 2020 October 2020 oh that was updated October 2020 Uh, commits, that will tell us, won't it? Commits, commits, commits. Only done one commit. Okay. I've only done one commit, by looks, on it? Yeah, one commit. Yep, 2020. That's when I did it. Wow. Nearly two years ago. So I've so what I've done is I've base I've basically I've, I've updated it right. So in the settings I've done a bit of I've done a bit of a change right. The settings is completely different in this version compared to the the Pi version the 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 one the one in the repo. So I've created a class that's going to define our dimensions. So we've got the screen screen dimensions, we've got the playable area dimensions. So I'm trying to implement some of the terminology that we've done in the 6502 project into this one and then I've also defined a class with every color that I could think of so we should have every color under the Sun that I could think of yeah right down to the different variations of yellow <laughs> so so that is the template and we are going to be, basically, we're going to be working off this template, yeah? So we're going to create our, we're going to create a brand new class. Uh, yellow is definitely important. Yes, my favorite color. My last car was a yellow car and I miss it loads, miss it loads. Um, got eaten by a lorry while I was in it. Oh dear, never mind. Ten years ago, I should have got over it by, by now. <laughs> Hang on, I don't know if I've got a picture of it somewhere. Squirrel moment. Squirrel moment. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. This one, the big one. Yes, gorgeous car, never let me down and that got eaten by a lorry. Uh, yeah, 
Well, I was in it. Well, it's an MG. That's why MG. It's an M it was an MG ZT. Three point five liter, lovely machine. V eight. Woof. Anyway, yep, yeah, it's an MG ZT. Lovely, had it. Looked after it, souped it up, put two turbos on it and everything. Then it got eaten by a lorry. And I'm all sad now. <laughs> and, uh, right, I get the, the guy in the truck, the, the guy, Gary, I know it wasn't you, but the guy in the truck says, I didn't see you. How can he not see a bright yellow car? <laughs> <laughs> How can he not see a bright yellow car? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But no. Hello, he thought it was a banana. Yeah. 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 Anyway. So, what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, we're going to create an element class and basically this element class is going to contain all the common code that's going to be used by every element and what I mean by an element I mean even the player is an element the the uh, bombs are an element the aliens are an element so we're going to have the the how can I put it the uh, out the way you we're going to have a, a, a class that is basically going to govern everything. And this class is going to allow us to load images. It's going to allow us to, to work out the movements and stuff like that. So, so here we go. So we're going to create a brand. Hi, John here. Another subscriber. Stay a while. Stay forever. Who, who was that? <laughs> Gary. Four months. Man. Four months. <laughs> hey, I wasn't aiming. Thank you for the subscribe. <laughs> more, more sad because of my car now. Never mind. Right, so we're going to create a new class. Yeah. So we're going to create a element element class. Element. Buy. Buy another banana. Well, I I did I did look at a deep yellow DB9. I did look at a yellow DB9 not that long ago. Not that long ago. Because um, I my company. Uh, raffled off a DB9 a long time ago and there it is what a gorgeous looking machine absolutely stunning raffled it off and being an employee I could not enter <laughs> couldn't enter but I have been thinking of buying a DB9 did did see a yellow one which I thought was ooh, ooh yellow DB9 okay right first thing import pie game and we're gonna call it PG yeah we're gonna import our settings oh hang on let's get it right it's got to be blue yeah it blue means good Gray means it doesn't know what it is. Yeah. All right. And so let's create the class. Class element. So that's what we're going to call it. Patreon must be paying well. <laughs> no, no. I finished paying for my car, so I was just I was thinking, what should I have next? Um, I was th thinking, what should I have next? Uh, I was, I'm thinking of having a. Oh my God! More bits? <laughs> Thank you very much. You guys really spoil me.
Who's that? Oh, Doxter. Thank you very much for the bits, mate. Thank you. That will probably buy a bolt of a DB9. <laughs> but thank you very much for the bits. It is much appreciated. Much appreciated. Right. So we're going to create the element class. Now, the cl this class is going to be the... Well, mate, it's 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 very kind of you. You are you are the most generous person in the bit sphere sphere for all my streams. Yeah, a bolt is good. Bolt is good. Um, but I yeah, I finished paying for my car, so I've got all this money that I used to be paying for the car, and I'm thinking, what should I have now? What should I have next? What should I have next? Right, man, I've always loved a DB9. Love the DB9. So, we're going to create the element class. Now, this class is going to be the class of all classes, yeah? This is going to be the class that helps us um, define all the other classes. So, it's going to have all the base functionality in there. What do I have now? I have a, I have a Mondeo power drive. Sport. Got flappy paddle gearbox and everything. Love it. And it's got race mode. It's got three modes. No, four modes, sorry. It's got granddad mode. <laughs> right? It's got granddad mode. And then it's got normal mode. And then you've got sport mode. And then you've got race mode. <laughs> Guess which mode I have it mostly in. <laughs> <laughs> With a flappy paddle gearbox, he's brilliant. Anyway, so we're going to create this um, class that is going to be our base class for all our <laughs> race mode. Is that the reverse? <laughs> Funnily enough, it won't go in reverse unless you're in normal. That's weird. If you're in any other mode, it won't go in. It it won't go in reverse. It'll go into reverse in granddad mode, which is eco mode, you know, and uh, normal mode, but it doesn't go in, yeah. In <laughs> base mode is that reverse. Good one, good one. Right, so, um, so we're gonna create, <laughs> carry on, trying to, trying to get this out. So we're gonna create a base class that is gonna be what we build on, yeah? So the element class, but that, is going to be built on top of, right? I must be good at escaping speed cameras in the UK. Nah, nah, nah. I wonder if that's meant to be PG, seeing as we've renamed it. Let's have a look. Yeah, PG. Right, so our element class is actually going to be built on top of the sprite class of Pygame. So Pygame has a sprite class that has all the functionality for sprites, and we are going to build on top of it. So basically we're saying element needs to inherit using the proper words, inherit the sprite class in Pygame, yeah? So it's already, because we've just done that now, if I did that and, and then ran it, element would have all the functionality of the Pygame sprite. <laughs> you just keep it as Pygame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. I was I was in two minds whether to keep it in pie game or not, but there we go. We'll call it Pete. I mean the template says Pete. I mean we can. Yeah, I think we'll call it pie game. Pie, pie game. Come on, John, get a grip. That means we'll change all this lot as well. P 
GG. Alright, game. And we'll do that in here as well. <laughs> Dogs are playing up. <laughs> Dogs are playing up. Why do you need to import Pi Game more than once? Because each class still needs to be able to imp you still need to import the information from another class inside a class or it won't know about it. And when you come to building it it won't it won't it won't like it at all. So you have to you have to you have to import it in. So the first thing we need to do, yeah? First thing we need to do is we need to create the init class. The init function. Right? And in the init function, the first thing you need to do. Why is there a blue underline underline pi game? Oh, it's a new feature. It's a new feature. I've got a spell checker installed. So I will not get people going, you've spelled asteroids wrong and you've spelled meteor wrong. It's going to spell check my code for me. <laughs> I found it yesterday. A code spell checker. Brilliant. That's what the blue underlines for. It's just let me know that that word doesn't exist in the English dictionary. <laughs> Who cares about spelling? No, I don't care. <laughs> but <laughs> some people do. And it gets them a lot of points. Gets them a lot of points. Anyway, so we're gonna we're gonna initialize the class, but the first thing we've got to do before we actually initialize the class ourselves is we have to initialize the the sprite class in Pygame. So we have to call the sprite class init routine in Pygame, yeah? Because we've inherited the code from Pygame, so therefore we need to initialize that as well, yeah? Next thing is, right, what do we need? What, what properties do we need that's going to, that's going to be used across everywhere right so I'm gonna help you out here now to make a property you have to give it the term self yeah right so you have to give it the term self don't I need a colon where No, no, because you're calling it. We're actually calling it. We're not. At, we're not defining it. We're calling it. It's a function. We're calling it. Yeah. But what we do need, we need that in there. Yeah. This is a call. Yeah. We're calling it. Yeah. We're telling it, go to the superclass. In this case, it's sprite, and execute its init function yeah so self.x now the reason we do self.x is if we just did x equals zero like that right that variable only works inside this function because it has scope yeah and the scope means it only works inside that function if you do self dot in a class, that means that you give it a property called x, which is available inside the entire class as well as outside the class. If somebody want, if uh, if we, our calling program wants to look at it, so that's why you put self in front of it. There are times when you don't want to have self and you want a normal variable, and there's times where you do. So we have got self dot x. So self. Dot y. Now, I'm not. I don't want to make it default to naught and naught. I want to actually tell it when I initialize. I want to tell it where the x and y is. I want to tell it put me this thing at that point. Yeah, the x and y point. Yeah. 
we are going to have we are going to have an animation frame number yeah each class each thing is going to have its own animation so it needs to keep track of its own frame counter yeah we're not having a global frame counter we're going to have the classes look uh, having their own internal frame counter yeah and then we're going to go are we we're going to go what we're going to do what we're going to do oh yeah so image directory so we are going to tell it where the image directory is yeah because when we are doing the animation we've got to tell it where the assets are yeah got to tell it where the assets are yeah so we tell it where the assets are and then we can we can deal with it thereafter yeah um we need and we'll put them here as well we need a way to tell say i want to go in that direction or i want to go in that direction so the dx and dy is basically direction yeah if we do dx of one that means we're going down Think that's right dx of minus one means we're going up and same for y um sorry x same uh, y down and up x down and up so let's do this so oh it's the wrong one it's that one isn't it yeah minus one equals uh left zero equals stationary and one equals right. And we'll do the same thing with there. I think that's up. And that's down. All right. Now I've said minus one. It could be minus two. We could want to move two pixels down for every cycle. Or minus ten. Basically it's the negative number. Yeah. So negative is left and up and positive is right or down All right and zero is staying where we are so we're not having semicolons yeah <laughs> yeah it's good it you don't have to worry about it <laughs> so so we've got our image directory where we've got the um, where the images are. Um, we need we need a oh wow stream system wow T thank you thank you. I got sandwiches. <laughs> they said hello. hello. <laughs> I got sandwiches. Got me stuff in my face now. <laughs> nice. So we need an image, right? And I th <laughs> did, did. Did you bring enough? Well, there's quite a lot there. Quite a lot there. They look nice as well. Right, so oh, I need to do something about this. Um, little first letters. I say little first letters. Image uh, is nothing. No, nothing's not a thing, is it? Is it null? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that'll do. So. We've got an image property, and that is where what's going to be our current image, yeah? Um, let's see, what else do we need? What else do we need when we start this up? We need to tell it where it is. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, dot alive. 
that it's alive because um, everything will be alive or killed um, what else what else for the generic stuff we've got direction because we've got DX and DY and uh, got the frame number got the frame number for the animation we've got the image directory so we can do the animation got a live what else do we need I'm just looking at what I've written down here in my notes um, Oh yes, how could I forget? How could I forget? Put that at the top. We need to send in, we need to send in the game object. No. If if we did this, right? That that thinks that that thinks that this this is no longer in this function, yeah? It thinks now this is a global variable and that's why the next one goes uh, unexpected indentation. Yeah? That's why you do that. As soon as you remove an indentation, it says, right, that's that function finished. Yeah? So that's why... So it is indentation-based. Python is indentation-based, yeah? And as soon as you remove an indentation, that's how you define the function block, yeah? So when we when we close the function block, look up, yeah? But as soon as, soon as I remove an indentation... When you close the function block up, look. So that's why it's there. Right. So we need to be able to, we need we need the game object inside the element object because the element object needs to be able to re refer to anything that's game related, yeah? So we need to put we need to put that into the object. Uh, what else do we need? What else do we need? Oh, yes. We need a animation. See, look, my spell checker's gone and said, this is not a word. This is not a word. Fix it. Animation. Oh, I like the spell checker now. I've not, I've not tr tr used it in anger until now. <laughs> I found it yesterday. Right. So self dot animation. So this is this is where we're going to store the animation frames in the array. So we, the first thing we do is we'll load all the, the animation frames in for the the object in question, and then we'll have it as an array. Yeah. And then we don't need to load it. <laughs> no more yes no more amk AM, amk uh, osk points for for that right what else is there what else did i have in my notes so i've got frame number uh that's it i think alive yeah and an array right okay so that is part, that's the initialization. So that's our generic initialization routine. So the next thing is we need to. <laughs> Probably. Right, next thing is we're going to create a function called load animation load animation frame. We have to tell it itself. And now we are going to give it a... Um, so we've got the image... D 
directory. So image name and 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 no 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 the only reason i'm doing is a double yeah because this is i'm classing this is a a base class function for this base class yeah but normal classes you wouldn't do a double underline yeah but because this is our base class i am I'm sort I'm, I'm sort of implement Im, implying this sort of thing, but they, with Python they do double underscore name double underscore, but I'm only going to do the double underscore then name, yeah, because I want to imply that this is a base class function, not a a proper base class function, yeah. So image name and 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 now we are going to have our animation by number. So we're going to be putting in frame number, I think. So we're going to be putting in frame number. So the image name. So for example, um, asteroid, yeah? Asteroid, for example. So the, the image name is going to be asteroid, yeah? Or as you'll see, it'll be asteroid A, Asteroid B, Asteroid C. And then we're going to have a, a frame number after it, which will be um, a, of triple zero. Yeah. So triple zero, triple zero, double zero one, double zero two, double zero three, and, and so on and so forth. Yeah. So that's how we're going to structure our assets. So we can then load the images. Yeah. So we can load the images. Um, oh. No, this is the load. Yeah, this is the load. This is loading. This is it. Will, this is loading a frame. Right. Got to get it right, John. Got to get it right. So file name. So we're going to create a local variable inside the function called file name, and we're going to. Oh, do I do it properly, or do I fudge it? Hang on. I think I did it properly in. I think I did it properly here in Hunchback. Let's go and have a look. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, we're going to fudge it. We're going to fudge it. We're going to keep, keep to what I know. So I've got a directory here called Assets. Yeah. So we know it's assets yeah let's just make sure where's hunchback hunchback is there yeah assets right then so um we are going to do this yeah so then it's going to be assets and then we are going to have the image name yeah so the image name Oh no, we've got the image directory. Right, image directory. So we need to put in the image directory. So self dot image dir. Yeah. Then, so we've got the image directory. Then we've got the image name. And then, then we have got the. Um, The frame number. So we are going to go right. I've got to rem I've got to see if I can remember doing how to do this. So frame number dot format. I think it's format. Uh, and that doesn't look like it's liking that at all. But we'll see. Um, Oi, John, pay attention to chat. You have a non you have underline on here. All right. OK. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm running 3.3.8. Okay. Well, um, we'll do that then. We'll do that then. Yeah. Doesn't matter because we're going to override it anyway. It's just basically to create the property. It's just basically to create the property. Right. So, format, format, format. Um... doesn't like that does it doesn't like that one little bit uh, missing closed where are we are we missing closed one two one two where are we missing closed it's there yeah it doesn't like that one little bit does it what have you popped up for go away doesn't like that one little bit right we'll have to do the old-fashioned way cut Uh, da, 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 da. So, um, we'll do it the old fashioned way. But, then again, we can do it this way, can't we? Um, uh, da, 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 frame. Frame number equals that. So frame number, because it's a number we're going to pass in, and then we're going to format it. Ah, that's better. That's better. Let's see if it'll go back in there now. No, does not like it one little bit. Right, we'll stick it back in there. And we'll put number in there. Dot PNG. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have a file name that's similar to this, right? So, dot PNG at the end. Yeah. So, we're going to have assets slash. Now, the image directory, let's say it's asteroids. <laughs> asteroids. Then, um, set, set A, which is the image name. And then zero zero one. So that's the sort of format we're going to expect for the for the the image. That's what we're going to be looking for. Now I'm telling you now we haven't got that formatted like that yet, but we're going to get there, right? We're going to get there. Hey, Nico. I'm going to have a bit of my sandwich. Hang on. You're right. Here, say hello to everyone. Say hello. Say hello. Hey, say hello. Say hello. They've all wanted to see you. Oi, don't knock the camera. Is As hey. Is Aston wearing his pants? Is Aston wearing his pants? But want none. Oh. What like that? Right, we'll use that, we'll use that. 
So once we've got the once we've got the file name sorted, so hopefully this is this is what we'll end up with. So it's going to be relative to the to the the project. So we're going to have all our classes in the root, and it's going to be relative to the project. So we're going to have a the directory called assets, and then we're going to take them there. So then we can we can load in. I'm not in the middle of the, there we go. So image, um, what should we call, I can't, we haven't got image, no we haven't got image frame, have we? Image, image frame equals, and then we do pygame dot image dot load and then file name. Now I'm going to put this on the end because there are some PNGs that are troublesome and there are some PNGs that are not troublesome. And you can tell it, you can tell Pygame to convert the PMG into its own for own part internal Pygame format. Now I'm leaving that there just in case we have trouble. If we do have trouble, then we'll get Pygame to convert it. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to return image frame. So we're going to return image frame. Now, I like having a space. We'll keep it there. Right. So that's that. So that's now loading our animation frame, yeah? So we're going to have another one called load animation series. All right? And let's lift that up a bit. There we go. Uh, so self. And we need to pass in image name. And... Um, number of frames right because we need to know how many frames are in our animation set yeah so the image name is going to be the same no matter what because it's always going to be like in their set a yeah but we need to tell it how many frames we've got is there a difference using double quotes and single quotes I don't think so. I think it can cope with both. I mean, hang on. Hunchback, I think, has double quotes. Or have I put single quotes in there? Look, I've mixed up. Double quotes there. Single quotes there. Double quotes there. Yeah, I don't think it matters, to be honest. I think it matters if you've got a string that you want a single quote in the string. Then you would use double. If you want double quotes in a string, then you would use a single, yeah? So you can't you can't mix and match, yeah? <laughs> yeah, exactly what uh, Gary said. So, we're going now import our animation. So we're going to say for frame frame number um, in range uh, number of frames. So here, if we're saying number of frames equals 10, then that will equal 0 to 9. Yeah? All right? So if we've got 10 frames, in reality that's 0 to 9. Do, 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 do. 
So, in there, we are now going to load our frame set. So, uh, remember how to do this. It's push, isn't it? It's push. I think it's push. Nico, what are you doing? See, with Hunchback, I actually loaded the images as I needed them, which slows it down. Append. There we go. Append. That's what we need to do. So, self dot animation dot append now it doesn't seem to like that hang on oh that's right okay Oh, I load it into an, an array set. Right, we'll do the same thing. We'll stop it being curly and we'll make it an array, array set. There we go. Well, that should sort it out. And then we're going to go and run our load. In fact, it's self dot load animation frame. And we're going to pass in the um, image name and our frame number so that's now going so if we've got an animation if we've got an animation set like if we look at asteroids yeah set a so we've got an animation set from there to there yeah so that we would tell it that there's 15, 16 frames in that animation set, yeah? And then it will load all that 16 frames in for the class. So that should do that. That should do that. Then we're gonna need another one to, uh, to do our moving, yeah? So we'd always put self in first. So this is to do our moving. So we're gonna say we wanna do DX dy and our speed so this is basically um, where you're defining how quickly you want to traverse the screen yeah all right and it will It, it basically you tell if you say your speed is five yeah and you do minus one then that means it's going to do five a five pixel move yeah if you say your speed is one then it'll do a one pixel move if you say your speed is 10 it will do a 10 pixel move yeah so what we need to do is go for we'll use a standard term in range of speed then we're gonna do uh, self dot X oh yeah it's big X in it self dot X equals plus equals DX and self dot Y equals DY plus equals there we go so that basically modifies our X and Y position when we call the move, yeah? So, is there any, anything else? Anything else? Anything else? We might need a transformation. 
I think we might we might need a transformation. I'm not sure on the image. Depends how big the, the images are. Um, whether we allow whether we get Pi Game to do it or or we manually do it. We'll leave it for the moment. We'll leave it for the moment. So this is our element class. This is our bare bones class. Yeah. Um, I really, really, I really, really want to put in the standard functions in there, but there's not going to be anything in there. Let me, let me just think while I have a bit of my sandwich. Hmm. Is it? No, I'll, I'll I'll sort it out. I'll sort it out. Right. I'm gonna right. I'm gonna be gone for about five minutes. I've got to give the boys the meds. It's half past seven. That the due their medication, and Nico's a real pain in the butt when I'm trying to give his meds. His meds are not nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna. I'm just going to put uh, the stream on hold, yeah. I might put the I'll put the countdown clock on, yeah. So I should be back in about 5 minutes, yeah. So I won't be long, yeah. Hello. I'm back. <laughs> Nico's a right pain in the butt. <laughs> it doesn't taste very nice and I have to I have to coax him out with the with the promise of a treat and then pounce on him and he's getting a bit wise so I have to I have to have him in a headlock so I can squirt the squirt the um, medicine in his mouth but he's he's squirming and yeah it takes time <laughs> he's, he's at it he's at it he's not a happy bunny at the moment <laughs> I don't blame him I I accident I accidentally put a bit on my hand when it squirted and it came and like an idiot, and I went and I licked it. I went, ugh, 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 it's horrible. <laughs> no wonder he pulls faces when he's got it <laughs> in his mouth. Right. So we, I think, we've got the the basis of our. I think we got the basis of our. Um, Our thing. Oh, you come to see me. I thought you might not be happy with me. Now I've given you your meds, mate. Hey. I didn't think you'd be wanting. I don't think you'd be wanting to see me. Yeah, it's over here. Yeah. You know where you. You know where your bread's buttered, don't you? Oh. The other one's here. We'll leave it on. See if he comes. No. We'll leave it on. He can smell the scones in. He can smell the scones in that drawer. I bet he can also smell my sandwiches. Oh no! Aston's gone back downstairs. Right then. So. What was I? What was I thinking? I was thinking, yes. There's a. There's an. Um, we need. To, I think we need to set. We need another another one. You know. Because I was just looking. We need to set the frame, don't we? Set animation frame. So, um, an image. So this is to set the animation frame, yeah? So, um, we should, we should be all right, I think. If 
if we do that here, we should be all right there. So to set the animation frame, you've got to then go, right, um, yeah, self dot image equals frame image. Um, yeah, that'd work. And then self dot rec equals um, self dot image rec um, get rec and um, where should we should we def yeah should we default it self dot or do I do that in the move hang on where would I do that that will be done in the update. That's going to be done in the update. But I'll put two comments in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell it where the, we're going to tell it where the um, the X and Y point in for the the sprite. All right. Right, now this, I talked about this at length at one, on my, one of my videos. Let me see if I can find the slides for it. Um, good point, John. Where did you put the slides for it? I have no idea. Um... in there hmm what if it's in there Where would I where would I have put them? I'll tell you what, let's see if I can find let's see if I can find the, my um, video. Let's see if we can find it. It can't be that long ago. Um, oh, too far. I wonder if it's in that. Checking playlist, yeah. Well, it was not that one. Um, well, I've lost where I was. It's checking the playlist. Du -du 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 -du. Was it? I think it's not in that. Is it in that one? No. Where is it? Punch baps in this one, isn't it? Right. Um, I wonder if it's in that one. Let's have a quick nose. I'll as soon as I see it, I'll. It's in one of these videos. 
Where do I talk about sprites? Ah, player sprite. Here we go. Oh, cool way. I need to resurrect the old jingle. <laughs> ah, here we go. Here we go. This. This is it. There. Oh, back up. Back up. Right, that's it. So, a sprite, a sprite has um, nine anchor points, yeah? Nine anchor points. Now, the default is this top corner here, yeah? So, that's the default, yeah? So, if you tell the sprite to be at X and Y here, yeah, it will be defaulted to this point. So, X and Y will be at that point, yeah? You can also tell it to be this point, or this point, or any of these points, yeah? Now, you would use the bottom anchor point if you was doing a platformer, because you'd want to reference the, the foot of the, this, the sprite against the wall, like in Hunchback, that's why we use the bottom to validate it. Same when you're checking if you're hitting something above, you would use the top anchor point, yeah. But we're going to be using the center one. We're we're going to be in. We're going to use the center one for everything, yeah. So center X and center Y is going to be used for everything. So that's why I've put those comments in, because that is the anchor point that we're going to use. So just remember, if you want to learn more about the sprites, it's episode fourteen, yeah. Cool, it was a long time ago when I wrote this. There we go. So we started with the block and then we made it into a man, didn't we? In the next one. Adding walls, ability to jump, yeah. So, keep that in mind that the sprite has nine anchor points yeah and we're going to use center x and center y as our anchor point but i've rammed it out here because if we do it there it'll always do it and we may want to in a we may want to in one of our um um entities not use the center x center y we may want to use the top or we may want to use the bottom or bottom right or or just the default yeah now if you put that in there right it would always send to exit always yeah and then you would have to override it so why override it when all we need to do is go we're gonna we're gonna make the each of the entities have their own uh, rule set about where we are where the x and y point of the sprite is so the x and y point of the sprite for even enough everything will be in the center and i'm just wondering whether i should put a Another flag, a flag in here. Um, yeah, we'll do this. We'll do that. We'll do that. So we're going to send in a flag. So if it's if it's true to use the center, we will set the center x if it's fault we won't and we can all we can then set it right so let's let's put this entity class into action go i sound that's well oh, i sound like somebody that i know that always said let's put this game plan into action yeah okay nico come on you're not after me sandwiches, they're mine. Mrs. Always came up. Give me these, I'm gonna have another one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Can you see the last two aren't? On you live sharing. On you live sharing. You alright? Can I carry on now? Okay. Tell me when you're ready. So I can... Uh... Right. I'm assuming he's, uh, he's ready. So... We're going to create, right, we're going to create a, the player. We're going to create the player. We're going to create the basic player class. Yeah. So here we go. So we're going to create a new class. Dot .py. And we are going to use the same. So we're going to import the same stuff. Oh, look at that. Imported null. And then we're going to go class player. And I've done the same I've done the same thing again, haven't I? Little letters in files. I was told off for putting big letters in files. There we go. So player. And we are saying that player is oh we have to import it so we're saying it's we're going to create a player class from our element class and it doesn't like that. I bet it needs to have that in. That's better. Alright. So. We are going to put the same. We need the same. signature because we've got to pass all that lot into our subclass yeah so super right and we put all that in there because that's calling our element class. So that's setting our element class up, yeah? Now, for our player class, we are going to need some extra, extra stuff. So we're going to need some more properties for the player class. Yeah, we're going to need a timer. Uh, we're going to need a fire timer. And uh, what else are we going to need? Um, so the timer is its basically, I think it's the shield timer. Thinking ahead at the moment. Let me guess, that shield is spelt wrong. Ha! Okay. <laughs> uh, the fire timer is when we're firing that we can't fight, we can't spam fire, yeah? So there'll be a cooldown, yeah? So there'll be a fire cooldown, which is the timer, yeah? Um, we could... Yeah. We could say that... Right, this is where we need to go into settings. Settings. Um, uh, what do I want to call it? Right. This is this is just um, 
uh, a settings thing, yeah? So, uh, respawn. Spawn X. And we'll say that that's err. Let's see. We're gonna we want we want it low down on the screen. So uh, where would we want that? Um, Do I see that? No, I don't see that. All right, then. Um, I might have to change the way this works. I might have to change the way this works. Unless it needs to go after. Let's have a look. Does it need to go after? Oh. Oh. <laughs> it needs to go after. Right. So the respawn X is not height. It's width. Divide by two. So we put it in the middle. And respawn... Y and we will say that it's going to be um, no we won't do divide we'll say minus 100 to start with right so back in here so settings dot player dot respawn x self dot y equals settings so we're setting where the player is going to spawn yeah um yes i suppose i suppose the problem is i couldn't get it a reference this yeah screen is for something and when I try to do this earlier it won't have it it doesn't doesn't see it so the only thing I could think of was not to have dimensions because it doesn't seem to see it but it seems to see it when it's here but yeah I wish I could have made them be seen in there yeah it is I'm just wondering if I just need to make them class wide. Do that. See if that does it. Right, so bottom would be height. See, he still doesn't see it. Oh, let's try dimensions. Yeah, it, it doesn't doesn't seem to I mean we can't do super because we're not we're not crate it'll be interesting to see if that runs it'll be interesting to see if that runs let me just see if that runs Right, this is not going to work now. So that's going to be like that, and that's going to be like that. Let's see if this runs, because we haven't made any changes to the template yet. No. What's it complaining about? Main. 
Uh, da, da, da. What's it complain about? Um, object super. Yeah, it doesn't like it. Doesn't like that super. Hmm. I thought I thought with it being contained in it, it would see them, but it's not. We'll just we'll just have to uh, we'll get we'll have to get rid of the we'll just do this, but it's not going to like screen because that, yeah, that's that there. There we go, screen. So we should be able to now if we move this back, should be able to do screen and screen, and then this get rid of that. Get rid of that and change that for that. Right, let's go back to game and modify this. Right, does that run? Oh, oh, hang on. What is that complaining about? Um, oh, yeah. Uh, right, most. Oh, that's bottom, isn't it? Bottom, and we will do right, most. Divide by two, so rightmost. Now that would be wrong, wouldn't it? So it's rightmost minus dot leftmost. Divided by two. Plus. That should do that. That should be in the center. Right, back to player. Let's just make sure it'll run still. Yay, it runs. Right, so player. So we set the respawn, yeah? What else do we need? What else do we need for player? What else is important? Um, we need to load, we need to load the animation. So, no, alive would be defaulted in the super init because we set the super init, the alive to be uh, true in the elements here. So that's already set, yeah? We can get rid of that now because we're using none. So we need to we need to now need to load the animation series. So let's let's get our animation series together. So I have got some I have got some um, graphics together. Yeah. Let me find them again. So I've got some graphics together. So we can change as minds and stuff like that, but player. So I got, the one I was using in the demo is using this, right? It's a really teeny tiny ship, yeah? And it looks like that. If you remember what I did on Saturday, yeah? And I had to blow it up, yeah? But just recently, I found these. That ship and it rotates plus it's got fire yeah so I was trying trying to figure out if it's directional but it isn't 
Now, the I've also got other ships. Yeah, got other ships. Um, I think in here. So we've got spaceships. Got loads of spaceships in here. But none of those are animated. So I didn't know whether to use the ones that I've done in the demo. Um, have I got the demo loaded? Hang on, let me just see. If I, have I got the demo loaded? I think it's that one. Let's give that a play. Here we go. So this is the demo. So as you can see, there's the player one there. And it's got three... It's got three um, frames to it. But as you can see, it's blown up. Because it was a little teeny tiny, little teeny tiny um, um, graphic. Yeah. So I didn't know whether to use this or start using some modern, you know, modern graphics. So... What I'll do is, I, we will use the, the modern ones, and if we don't like them, we'll go back to the other ones. But we'll have to change, we'll have to change the uh, underlying class if we need to, yeah? So if we go into player, and then spaceship, we've got these. So we'll use the ones with the flames on it, yeah? Because it's constantly moving, yeah? Because we're not going to... But we do go up and down, don't we? <laughs> Ooh, yes, we go up and down. Yeah, so we, we need two animation sets. We need two animation sets. Right, we need two animation sets. So how are we doing this? We are... We're appending to animation. Right, okay, so we can do the same thing. Right, so this needs um that's the only problem with Python. It doesn't you know oh image name. So we need to set we need to set the Right, player doesn't need that. And to be honest, it doesn't need that. And we can put them in there. So we don't need them. But I think we can do something in front, yeah? So image directory is equal to... Now we don't need to put assets in because that's automatically added, yeah? So let's just check what we do need to put in. So it's... Right, okay, it's just the directory itself. Right, so our directory is player... Spaceship and then we've got ship zero zero one, ship zero and then ship flames, yeah. So that's our image DIR. Now why are you not liking that? Of course oh that's why. So we set in the and then we run our super class initialization system now we can put it in so we're saying ship and we have got four so that should load into our animation set so what we need to do is then we need to put self dot um, Uh, 
There we go. That's that's in fact flames. So that does the thrusted and the and we will just call this the oops animation set. But we'll need to clear that out first. So self dot animation set dot clear because we'll end up adding. So that's adding the two animation sets to the player. So ship flames spelled right ship. Right. What else do we need? Um, what else do we need? We need a way of, yes, so we need an update. So we need to define the update routine because this is now going to do the, um, is now going to um, update the image, yeah? Update our image and, um, update the X and Y when we do it, yeah? Right, so we need to work out, we need to work out, so we've got what, we got four, Does it have something like on load so you have you load the assets when the game starts? No, we're loading the assets here. Right? We're loading the assets here. This is where we're loading the assets in the initialization of the player. Yeah? We don't load the assets when the game starts. We load you load the assets when you you load the uh, when you instantiate the object. Right, so what we're going to do is we've got four frames and let's say we want it to spin. Let's say if we want it to spin every second, yeah? So we need to make it change the frame every second. Oh, yes, I was wondering if it has something like that, like I said. Um, I mean, you ca you could write when the game start that loads all the assets in if you wanted to um but I, I i'm one of these people that when you write an object the object should control its own destiny so it it would it would um let me just turn the light on it would it would load its own resources, yeah? It would be responsible for loading its own resources. So, we, we've got a frame number. We have a frame number in the default class, but we don't have an anima animation number. Maybe we should put that in there as well. frame number just wondering whether the, the name's wrong um, yeah tick counter there we go frame number is the frame tick counter is the thing so tick counter tick counter is the um, the thing that's ultimately maintaining our frame, yeah? So, so every time we run the update, which is be once every frame, we open the tick counter. So we can say then um, frame number equals, uh, I mean 
first things first, if self dot tick counter is greater than settings dot frames per second, there we go, then self dot tick counter equals zero. So that resets it back. So the frame number, then we can say, right, we're gonna divide our uh, frames per second by four, which will be 15. Because our frames per second at the moment, I think is 60. Yeah, 60. So, um, in fact, in fact, we could do this. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, that's what I was, that's what I was thinking here. If we do frames per second, then we know we know then how many frames. Um, well, it's um, it's well, it's ticks per frame, isn't it? Yeah, it's ticks per frame. So this is the number of ticks per frame. So we've got four frames, divide, 60 divided by four is 15. So that's 15 ticks per frame. So therefore our frame number is, um, our, uh, set, our frame number is settings dot frames per second divided by self dot ticks per frame. That's what that would work, wouldn't it? So that would be naught, one, two, three, yeah. You all right, Nico? You all right? You all right? What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter, mate? What time is it? Are you wanting a wee wee? Are you wanting wee wees? Are you wanting wee wees too? All right, guys. I'm going to take them out. Yeah, I won't be. A, I won't be a second. Hey, you sure? Who's that? Yes, you're right. That would give us a whole number. Or we could have done that. Yeah? But yeah, you're right. That would give us a whole number. C. 
self dot tick counter oh yes hang on yes you are right Yeah, it will always be full. <laughs> there you go, mate. Good spot. And... There you go, mate. It's for the, uh, the double. i got to eat these sandwiches. <laughs> So now, we need to translate that into the image. Now, we've got a, a function that says set animation frame, yeah? So we're going to do that. So now we've worked out the frame number, we can do the And we are using, um, oh, that's a point. That's a point. <laughs> well, I mean, to be honest, mate, I mean, all of them should be little as well. I keep forgetting, I'm, I'm an old school coder. I'm an old school coder. <laughs> In the days where the, I think, I, I think it was called Camel Case. I think it was called camel case where you in it where you capitalized every word every word in it right so we've got this th oh pascal case yeah 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 pascal case that's it old school right so if <laughs> the clue is in the name. <laughs> you are, yeah, we're, we're too old. We're, we're too old in the tooth for it. So, uh, yeah. Right. So, if the thrust is active, we need to use the thrusted animation set. So, what we need to do is we need to pass in the image. Yeah, we need to pass in the image. So, you go self dot thrusted animation set. And then frame number. No, <laughs> not thrust about case. Right, and the other. What was the other thing? F oh, use center, and we're going to use center. So, comma true. So we're setting the animation frame, and so we're going to set the animation frame for not thrusting, which would be just animation set, I think, and use the, fr uh, the frame number to identify which image in the array that we've got, yeah? So once that does that, that sets our, that sets our hit frame, uh, hit, hit box, so we don't have to worry about that. What else do I need to worry about for player? for the update for the moment. We're not gonna move it. 
Right, let's see if we can get this thing on the screen. So in the initialization part, I've got an add player sprite. So what we're going to do is we're going to go self dot player equals, and now we've got to import, we've got to import, that's what that's there, import player. And of course it's in small. So import player. So self dot player equals new player dot player. Now we need to send in, we don't need that really. We need to send in some parameters, don't we? We need to send game. We need to send game in there. So we put in the word self like that. Right, and then in update we do self dot player dot update. So and self dot player dot draw, and we need to put it on the screen. So if we've done this right. We've done this right, and I'm wondering, well, that's just a spell checker. If we've done this right, it should spawn in the default location, we should set the animation frame, and it should animate. Now, we have got issues. It doesn't like the settings at all. Let's clear that. What do you mean clear? Ah. Right. Let's see what the error message is. Game.new. Right. Self.player. Oh, it's complaining about... Object has no attributes, underscore, underscore, load animation series. Oh! Ah! Hey, Proton. It's not self, is it? It's super. It's super. We're calling the class that's doing all this. It's super. Right, let's try that again. Has no attribute player dot load animation series. But it does. Okay, where, what have I done wrong? Hmm. Let me just try this. Yeah, I mean, it's it's it should that the super is telling it because that calls that, but I'm 
just looking at the one I've done. Oh, it's what is it? Attribute play object has n has an oh right okay. That was the problem. That is actually the problem, not what I've done. Let's put them back. And put them back. The problem is that we've. There we go. This. We took out capitals, didn't we, on the first one? Should look at the right error message. Right. Here we go. Now! Super object has no attribute. It's thinking it's an attribute. Why is it thinking? Okay, then let's get rid of the underlines. I thought the underlines were non specific, but it looks like they are. So we'll get rid of the underlines. And we'll just do it uh, standard. Whoops. Right. Ooh, integer. Hmm. It thinks, it thinks that frame number, no, it thinks that is an integer. Which it is. Ha! <laughs> right, okay, hang on. You've had to join the share. That's fine, mate. That's what it's there for. Right. Oh, capital L. <sighs> me and me, me and me capitals. Me and me capitals. Mate. Just because you can see the sandwiches doesn't mean they're for you. Right. Player to uplay. List indices must be an integer, not float. Oh, it thinks it's a float. thinks it's a float. Right, so it thinks frame number is a float, so we're going to see it up here. Right, here we go. Oh, it's a float. Okay. Let's do that. Now it won't be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, rats. These are all capital errors. Self dot player. Why are you complaining? That's what it's called. Self dot player. Oh, it's on the draw. 
Oh, player object does not have attribute draw. Okay. Okay. That's the third time she started that film. <laughs> I don't I have no idea don't, I have no idea what you're talking about mate that's better right we should have hopefully yay list is out of range okay let's run that in debug let's find out what we're getting Frame number four, yes. Okay, so we are getting frame number four. Um, right, let's put a break point. There's only, there was, oh, there was only, th yes, three frames, weren't there? Yeah, my bad. Well, that's four frames. So, tick, okay, zero divided by 15 is zero. Let's put a break point on it. Let's find out what's going on. Um, we are not doing... We're loading, we're loading the... We're loading the image every time we're on the frame. We don't need to do that. It shouldn't... Well, it's getting to four. And I think it's getting to four. Because it's zero to three. So that's four. But the thing is, also, it's loading the frame every time as well. And we don't want it to do that. Because we've already got the frame in. We only want it to load the frame when the the frame number changes. Um, so, um, 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 um. So we need... We need a, we're going to have to store the frame. We're going to have to store the frame number. We're going to have to store the frame number. Oi, John, pay attention to chat. Oh, yeah, could be. It could be. Right, let's try it. Let's try it. Could be. Ha oh, ha! Well, good. Well done. Well done. Right now, the problem is it's loading. It's loading the picture. It's loading the image every time. So it's going to the array and grabbing the image and loading it up. And we shouldn't need to. We shouldn't need to grab that every time. We only need to grab it every time the frame has changed. Yeah. So 
we are, we should only do it when the frame has changed. This frame number when that changes, right? So there must there's a, a way there's a way of doing it. There's a way of doing it um, where yes, it's here um, and. That equals that. Now that's going to be the same, isn't it? No, because this is a floating point number, so it should be different. Right, we'll check this out. We'll put a break point there. So that should only fire when the fr when the frame's changing. It shouldn't be firing 60 times a second. Oops, need to be on the right file. So yeah, we're expecting that one. Now, the problem is we are getting Frame is zero, frame number is zero. That's firing every time, isn't it? Let's add a watch. So that's true. Okay, let's add that. And that. Oi, John, pay attention to chat. Oh, is it because I've got that one? All right. Let's see if that works. Right, that's that's okay. That should be right. It's still the frame number is still Ah, uh, it's still doing it. It's still doing it. Right, because I've got my if statement wrong. Rushing, rushing, rushing. I need this. Here. No, it's not that. I had my if statement wrong. It was always coming to this, yeah? We need it to bypass it, yeah? So it should do it first time round. Ooh. That's a new error. One argument must be pi game surface, not none. Oh, right, okay. Okay. We need to... We need to set... So when it's got, we need to set the frame. So we'll set it to naught. So uh, animation set naught, because it's complaining about that none. It's 
complain about the non. Should do it now. There we go. Right, so. Go. 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 There we go. It's only doing it four times now. So, we should be able to run this. And it should be quicker. There we go. There you go, mate. That was for the correcting my my if statement. So let's put in. Let's put in where we can put the space bar on it and get. And get the 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 uh, player to show the thrusting. So what we need to do is we need to create an event. Yeah. Oops. So I need to create an event because we're going to use the event system to um, in the pipe in the where we where we're running we do uh, self dot events. That means that um, it will look for the event um, attribute in the player and our sprites and that determines um, the movement yeah so update it's little you isn't it update yeah little you little you so here we can then fire the events so a little bit. So here we can go. Uh, all right, let's check. Let's check. We're going to check for the uh, the space bar. So we we go keys. Pi game. Dot. Key. Dot get. Get 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 get. Get get get. <laughs> I can't spell get. <laughs> Pressed. <laughs> Get key pressed. Right. Now what that does. What that does. Is it. Um, Pygain scans the entire keyboard. Yeah. And it returns back an array. Right. It returns back an array. Of the state of the keyboard. Right. So and then what you have to do. Is you have to test the particular array point that you want to test for yeah so for example we want to test for space we, or or key up yeah key up is to go up yeah so we want so we need to test for key up so what you do is you go if keys and then you want the array element so it's pi gain dot K up. Right now, all this stuff is in the Pi Game website. Yeah, all this stuff is in the Pi Game documents website. So, uh, keys. There you go. And it's got a list of all the parameters for all the keys. Right, all the constants for all the keys. So don't worry, you know, I'm not making this up. That's what it is. So we're saying if in the array keys that we've just got back from Pygame, looking in the array element for key up, is that true? Means has it been pressed? If so, then we're going to say self dot thrusting active equals true. Right.
Now, if you want to... Um, Ooh, I gotta th gotta think then. Yeah. Then we need to go self dot thrusting. Right. So if it's key up, if it's if it's true, then if it's false, then we go away. Right. So, let's hit the play button. So if I press key up, right, we should then have thrust. And we don't. Now, why don't we have thrust? Are we are we going through it? Let's find out. We should be calling it. We're not calling it. We're not calling it. Why are we not calling it? Oh, I know why. Because we haven't put it in the events. That's why. <laughs> I just pressed the wrong key. <laughs> right. Key up. No. And it's not breaking either. That is strange. I'm just trying something, just trying something. Right, so it's definitely, definitely That is annoying. That's right. Hmm. Put a break point there. Oh, I've not, I've not fired the right one. Here we go. Right, so it's definitely breaking there now. But it's not, it's not, right, let's see if it breaks there. Oh, it is. Right, okay. Oi, John, pay attention to chat. Yeah, I'm pressing the... I'm pressing it. I'm pressing the up. I mean, it's going through it. It's going through it, so it means that our array is wrong. It means our array is wrong. So we've done... So we cleared the animation. Oh, cobblers.
Cobblers. Everything's referential. Oh, <laughs> I've just cleared it out and I need it. <laughs> um. Are you alright? Hello? Hi. Oh, you alright? Yeah, I need to put the dishwasher on. Are you still eating? I'm still eating. Oh, I'll be able to. I'll just put that in tomorrow. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's this. The uh, arrays are referential. There you go. The arrays are referential. So you got to. I keep, I keep forgetting that the arrays are referential. So what happens is, is we on here we loaded the thrust images into the animation, the animation um, array, yeah, and then we said that the thrusted animation set equals the animation. So what it does instead of making a copy, it just links to it. So when we clear it out, yeah, here, and then loaded the normal ship. That means the thrusted animation was also the normal ship because it was referentially connected to the animation set. So when you want to make a copy of the array, you have to do dot copy, yeah, which then no longer does a referential um, link. It physically copies the contents of that array into that array. And that's, yeah. So I should still, yeah, we can still do that. It's just because of that. Right, so we've got, we've got the ship animating. Right, and I keep forgetting, I've got to be on that one. Got the ship animating and when we press, we get some flames coming out of it. Now, this screen's not big enough, so we need to make the screen bigger. So let's go and knock some units out. So let's make it 800 wide by 1200. Oh, that's a bit, bit much, bit much. Uh, okay, so not 1200, 900. There we go. Right, so now we've got our ship on the screen, animating quite happily. So we need to make it go left and right, yeah? And also up and down. So, now let me put that stuff back in the events. Let me put that stuff back in the events, because it should be in there, really. And then we'll put it back in games. Right. Right, let's just make sure that it's still reacting when I press up. Yep, yep, it's still acting, right. So now we can put in, we can put in the other keys yeah so we've got play up yeah uh let's let's do the other keys so we need to go left and right yeah so we do the same thing if keys so 
So pi game dot key left, right? And we'll just put that there for the moment. Else if keys pi game k right. And we'll just put past there. So now we, we what we need to do is we need to alter we need to alter the state of where the sprite is on the screen. Yeah. And the way to do that is we initialize we initialize self dot dx. Yeah. So we initialize self dot dx. So if the if we've got no keys pressed we're stood still yeah then if we're pressing left then it's self dot dx um, equals minus one and self dot dx equals one so it's we reset zero so if no keys are pressed then it's we stay still but we set dx to be either minus one or plus one. And then what we do is in here, we, let's see, have I still got the underscore on the move? No, I haven't, right. So what we do is then we do super dot move, right? And we put in, we have to do it one at a time. So we're just messing around with DX at the moment, yeah? So we go DX comma zero comma, now, we have to think about what what's our speed. What's 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 our speed? So let's create another property here. So self dot speed. We'll say let's say it's five, just for just for argument sake. So self <laughs> oh dear mate. You've got an active imagination, mate. But yes, we could if we wanted to. Right, so self.speed. And then what you do is you go minus the absolute value of dx. Now, this is not going to work because it should be self.dx. So that performs the move, yeah? So at the moment, we're just doing left and right. So if I run that, we should end up with a, a ship that moves left and right. Now, oh, what have I forgotten? I know I've, what I've forgotten. I forgot to do that. So there's our ship. Right, if we go left, go right, left, Right. Now that's a little bit jerky. That's a little bit jerky. Don't like that at all. We need it smooth. So let's change the speed to one. Because that was jumping five, five. Let's change it to one. Nope. Let's have a look at the move. I'm just wondering if I've got the maths wrong on the move. Uh, 
No, that looks right. Why is it jerky, jerky, jerky? Let's let's make it two. Let's see what's going on. See if it's jerky when it's on two. Yeah, it is. We're definitely on... Uh, Right, I'm. I th I'm just wondering if it's this game in the way. Right, let's try it now. Well, well, well. Would you believe it? It was that. So as you can see, we are, <laughs> we are going off the end of the screen. <laughs> we are, we're going off the end of the screen. Yeah, the safe zone. So what we need to do is we need to check for the boundaries. We need to check for the boundaries. Now that can be a function that's in here, yeah, where we check for the boundaries, yeah. So um, we can either we can either make it that it's a function in in the class itself, or we can make it that it's a game function where the game. Um, Where the game allow well, how can I put this? Where the game allows you to move or not, yeah. So, but I think we should be able to get away with it in here. I think we should be able to get away with it. So, def um, allowed to move. So self, so what do we need to do? Um, well, it's X and Y, isn't it? Yeah, I need it for the eight. That's why I was thinking whether to, where to put it, but it's a common function, yeah? So it's a common function in, in, in here. So we just need to be able to, right, so we need to put, X comma Y. Now we know we know what the image is. So we know what the image is. So we can we can then go um, X. Is see, so we're in the center. You got so we're in the center, yeah. And so we need to check. Right. So we need width. All right. So I think that's in rec, isn't it? I think it's in there. Let's just check. I need. I need to. Uh, I need to re-familiarize myself. Wreck, wreck, wreck. Yes, width, it's there. Right. 
So we need to, we, so we know the width. Uh, we'll do the height as well. Right. So if X, right, let's try, what's, what did we call it in the settings? Playable area leftmost. Playable area left mode. So if X minus width divided by two, yeah, width divided by two is less than settings dot playable area dot leftmost. Okay. Oh, now we've got a problem here because I've done a little X and it's a big X. There we go. Or Y minus height divided by two is less than settings dot playable area dot top. I'm going to split these up or oh I can't do that can I it's called a bit on one line aren't it uh, so let's grab that put it there oh. so x plus the width is greater than rightmost. So if that is satisfied, we're going to then test the Y. Here we go. So let's test the Y. Right, so if, right, okay, hang on, let me, do, let me just work this out. If X is less than that, or is greater than that. Now, well, I'm gonna have a long line. I don't care what people say, I'm gonna have a long line. Return false. Else. Return true. So if X minus the width of its image so that gives us the left hand side is less than the leftmost playable area or X plus the width of his image is greater than the rightmost. And then this one would be bottom. Right, let's see if that stops us going off the screen. But it won't stop us because I've not applied it, have I? Um, Super move. We need to do it in. Can you do that? What, like that? Uh, it's still not liking it. It's 
It's not liking it, dude. It's not liking it. We'll leave it as it was. Right. So we need to be able to say in here then, right? So in the move, we need to be able to do that. Is the, is the allowed to move? So if allowed to move, then do that. So if they're not allowed to move, Yes. That's it. X and Y. Why are you saying it's not defined? Why are you saying it's not defined? It's there. What have I missed? Oi, John, pay attention to chat. Oh. You need to... Need to end or escape the line with a backslash. What, like that? You mean like that? Well, I never knew that. Never knew that. I'm still... Oh, hang on. That's what I needed to do. Right. So now we're, we're because we we know x and y because we're and we we now know dx and dy. You knew it was possible, yeah. But it phase. There you go, and. For mentioning it. I'm gonna have another bite of my sandwich. So we're now testing if we're allowed to move. If we're not allowed to move, we won't do it. So let's see if we go off the edge of the screen now. <laughs> oh, look at that. And we stop it bang on the nail. Nice. Right, let's do the up and down. Let's do the up and down. So we've already got the key up. So what we need to do is we need to do the same thing here. So self.dy equals nothing, yeah? If we're thrusting, then set self.dy uh, equals, I think it's minus one. And this one would be self. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want it. No, uh, no. I don't want it to, um, I don't want it to stay still. I 
I want it to drop down. When you when you let go of the thrust, I want it to drop down. So let's tr let's see if it does it. Right, left and right is still going. Right, thrust, and we're not going up. And we're not going up because we haven't put the move in. That's why. To be honest. Now we could have different, yeah, yeah, we'll leave it like that. We could have different speeds for the X and Y. We'll leave it separate just in case. Right then, left, left, left and right. No, we're not going left and right. Why are we not going left and right? What have I done? Why am I not going left and right anymore? <laughs> Suddenly we're not going left and right anymore. Right. So why would that make any difference? Yeah. I'm just trying to understand why it would make the difference though. The problem, the problem with that is if we wanted to go, if we want to go left and right, a diff. See, it's not doing it. It's not doing it. Why is that? That that must be. That must be breaking because of the um, why. Are we too low? Are we too low? Hang on. Is our spawn point too low? Let's do let's get it well off the bottom. Right, it went all the way to the bottom. Right, let's just take that out, put that one in. It went all the way to the bottom because we've got that. Yeah, so it's got, it's, 
I mean, it's not even going up, look. It's not even going up. So dy equals 1. Self dot dy equals minus 1. Yeah. Let me just let me just do this. I'm just wondering if it's because it's it's doing minus one all the time and it's just causing an issue. Right, so it should start halfway up the screen. Yeah, right. So it's going up. But it's not coming down. Because it should always go down, it should it should always go minus one. But dy should change, so it sh it's it should change. But oh, but 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 oh, I s oh I see. Oh right, okay. Um, I see. It's the um, it's the test. It's the test. Um, because it's minus. Right. Okay. That should work, right? That should work because it, it it's going to move dx because y and zero shouldn't be shouldn't be falling over, but it is. So what's happening is it's constantly returning false because of the Y. Um, but if I'm put if I'm putting in Y is zero, so zero minus the height. Oh, hang on. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Hang on. Yeah, I'm being a I'm being an idiot. I'm being an idiot. Where's move? Mate, what? What? What's up? Hey, what's up? What? What? No. No. My sandwiches, not yours. Go on, there you go. There you go. My sandwiches. Yeah, I'm changing Y in every frame, but it shouldn't stop the X from moving because it would be Y plus zero. Right? It should be Y plus zero. So that should be Y plus zero. So it should never do it. Yeah? That's why I'm uh, that's why doing it in two steps. So the X should still move backwards and forth, left and right. Because we're sending in the, the Y value that we're going to be having, yeah? But, for some reason... It's... That, sh that should work, yeah? 
panicked. Um, oh, hang on. I wonder if... What's my test like? Hang on. If it's greater than the bottom. Then it shouldn't apply it. If it's greater than the bottom, it shouldn't update it. Right, this is going to be controversial. That's going to be controversial. Let's see. Well, it's not that. Oh, that's just... That should not be, that should not be, um, that Y should not be affecting this. That is weird. If we turn it, if we stop it. Uh, oh, hang on. I wonder how big that image is. Hang on. Oh, 156. Right. So... If Hang on, 156, so that's 90, 80, isn't it? So half of that is 80. Should be all right. How far down does it go? How far down does it go when I switch it on? Because it certainly goes down there. But when I press up, it should be going up. It's like it's gone way too far. Right. Let's do some maths. Let's do some maths. Right, let's find out exactly where it is. So that's where we are. We are, f so it's this 824, 825 lot. But for some reason, it's not going up. And then it resets the 400 and 401 as well. And I think the reason it's doing that is um, maybe we need to t make this into two two moves. Yeah, we sorted the keyboard problem. Um, it was. Um, Oh, it wasn't a keyboard problem. It was a, the the animation problem. The, the keyboard prop keyboard was doing it right, but the animation had the wrong animation set.
This has got the same mechanics. This has got the same mechanics. Okay, when I let go, it drops back down. Same routine. So why is it not doing it here? The X should move. The X should move because we're doing it separately. It's the why, it's the why, it's um, constantly crossing the line, it's got to be. One of those tests if, is failing. Oh dear. Can you see any can you can you see anything wrong with that? Yeah, so we're stopping it on them, them ways, but for some reason, as soon as we put the Y in, it doesn't like it. I mean, it's alternating between 824 and 825. That has got to be an issue because it should be just... DY should always be 1. Why is it alternating? DY should always be 1.
Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, no. Because... If the key presses up, it should be overriding dy anyway to be minus one. That's what I don't understand. If I make it... Right, let's, let's make it naught again. That works. Yeah, that works. And then it stops at the top lot. But that's, that's the thing, it shouldn't be moving it down and moving it up because I'm sending in naught in dy for x. Yeah? So it should not... Oh, hang on. No, 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 it's not... Um... Yeah, it show it it's it says that it's trying to move. Right. Okay, so let's let's put some concept. Let's put some um thing on this. Let's do Yeah, I got you. I got you. Now, I haven't put activated the move up. I or did I? Oh no, I did it there one tick one. That's it. No. It should not be changing Y all the time. It shouldn't be changing Y all the time. It should be going, no, I'm not going to do it. So, um, let's, let's try and debug this, because it works on my prototype. It works on the prototype, so why does it not work here? Oh, the only... Let's do this. Only if it's getting itself all tied up in knots. Let's do the divide by two there. No, it's not that. Um I need to um Right, let's put a let's put a print on this. So we know what's going on. DX DY Right, let's see what's going on.
Yeah. Why is it alternating? Stupid, stupid, stupid. All that time and because I put the if statement in the wrong way. I've just looked at the prototype. I just looked at the prototype and I thought, shoot, the if statement's in the wrong place. No, can't be. Right, so we have now got a ship that will not fall off the edge of the screen. Yeah. Yeah and falls back when you not so it's very similar to arcadia <laughs> it's very similar to arcadia yeah what was it it was it was very complicated mate uh, absolutely uh, it was a lot of maths involved oh it was it was terrible having to work it all out you know all we had to do was just move this if statement <laughs> the if statement was in the wrong place. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Yeah, this statement was in front of was in front of the re, this the the speed rate the speed thing. And so it wasn't even moving, and it's supposed to do the move. It's supposed to say, "Right, I'm going to try and try and try," and then throw it out, not throw it out before it even gets there. <sighs> yes. So, yes. So we've got the player. We got the player finally working. We got the player finally working. But this is how, you know, we check. Yeah, you know, th this has demonstrated that the base class had a bug in it, and that was affecting the the what's it class, the the child class. So we have got now um, our player. I mean, it's not it's not finished. We've got him to move. We've tested that he can't go off all the screens. So the next thing we can do is try and get it to do a button. Yeah? Oh, not a button. A bullet. Or we can get it to activate the shields. It's up to you. Bullet, bullet, bullet. Okay, bullet, bullet, bullet. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Attack before defense. <laughs> right, so, so you've got to imagine, right, that the, the player object has then got to tell the game, right, the player object's got, then got to tell the game, Oi, we're firing a bullet, mate. Do your, do, do your stuff. So we're going to have to create another class 
that's going to look after the bullet, yeah? So, let's create another class that's going to look after the bullet. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, I'm in, uh, I'm in caps lock hell. And I've done a capital, capital on the front and I should not be doing it. Right. Oh, capital PI. Right, so we will do the standard imports, which is those three. Because we're still going to use the element for it. So, I'm going to have another bite of my sandwich. <laughs> so, we'll start it off. <laughs> Self as always, and now we're going to we're going to specify the start X and the start Y of the bullet. All right. Now, what are you complaining about? Is it because that's not there? Oh, I know why. Forgot. That's what's needed there. Right, so. So we are going to pass in X and Y. So this is the X and Y, this is the start point, X and Y, of where the bullet's going to originate from, yeah? So we need to give it some extra parameters. So like, for example, done means I'm off the edge of the screen. I'm, I'm done. Done, 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 done. Yeah. Uh, we need to do the super which, oh yes, we need game, don't we? We need game in there. So game X Y and image duh. Right, bullets, bullets. Have I got any bullets? What about import player? Well, the bullet doesn't need to know about player. The bullet doesn't need to know about player, yeah? Because the bullet's not going to kill player, yeah? Only the reflected bullet will kill player, but the reflected bullet is a different class, yeah? Uh, that shape, ship can only have one bullet unless you make... <laughs> Look, we, we, don't worry about physics. <laughs> right, so have we got a bullet? Let's have a look. Player. Ship. Yes, we do. It's not a very good bullet, though. So we need to find... We need to find a decent bullet. We need to find a decent bullet. Um, 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 where did I get that spaceship from? Where 
where did I get that spaceship from? Uh, Myriad. It, I think it was in this loon, lunar spaceship. Ah, there. Right, where did I get that spaceship from? Uh, da -da 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 -da. uh lay, um, 2D shooter laser graphics. Ooh. Ooh. Now. Now, 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 now. Do, do, they, do they look like candidates? Right, we'll keep them there. We'll keep them there. So we'll see if there's any more. We got these fellas. These are looking good, aren't they? These, these, well, I like, I like them. I like, I do like them. Do you have to pay for these? Let's have a look. Do you have to pay for these? Yeah, let's have a nice, right, um, uh, let's see. Do we have to pay for these fellas? Um... Right, let's download them. Let's have a look. Ooh, right. Okay, let me unzip them. Extract to our source folder. Pi game. Assets. Um, yeah, we'll put them in there. Go. Right. Um, no, it's not those. Ah, these are the fellas. Yeah, um, I've still got the um, zip file, mate. So I didn't get rid of the zip file. So uh, we'll we'll get the uh, the credits out of them. Let's have a look. Let's see. Is there any credits? Is there any credits that it's just URLs? It's just URLs to Twitch. <laughs> Account suspended. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, if the if the account was legal, I was gonna put I was gonna put the uh, comments in the into the bullet code. But seeing as it's suspended, <laughs> I think um, I think we uh, we tried. We can't say we didn't try. <laughs> we can't say we didn't try. Right. Let's have a look at them. Right. So, uh, oops, wrong directory. We're in GitHub, aren't we? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Python, myriad assets. And it was laser sprites. There we go. So these are the fellas. 
That does look impressive, doesn't it? So let's spin through them all. So we've got different colours, it looks like, by all of them. I mean, that does look nice, doesn't it? Ooh. 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 Right. Right then, guys. What should we go for? What should we go for? Can you see them all? Right. Twenty one. Oh, you mean in that set? You mean in that set? It does look rather good, doesn't it? I'm, I'm just, I'm, I've, I've got something in my head now that's, I think it's going to be, even, I think it's going to be even, even better. So, 23, the purple one. Right. I think, I think I've got something that's going to make it just that little bit sweeter, yeah? I agree that the, the, the 21 series looks... <laughs> you, you, you stop, stop, stop giving the game away. <laughs> right, let's let's get some uh, things done. So set. No, it's all right, mate. You, you're almost there. You're almost there. You're almost in the right. So we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna create some uh, sets. Yeah. And what I need to do is we need to change, we need to rename these fellas. So let me, I think I've got a rename program. Hang on. So we'll just, right, we'll say that's set A. And we'll say this is set B to there. This ain't going to be done by Sunday night. Well, you know, we've got Monday as well. And Mrs. Mrs. OSK says if I want to stream earlier, then we can do. As long as it doesn't affect her streaming, she says. <laughs> now, there, there, that's the only ones for them, isn't it? So let's do that. Oh, you think you know what the plan is? Okay. I do like some of these. I do like some of these. Oh, I'm really pleased we found these. Uh, set F. No, oh, set F has not got many in them. And set G. Now, I think I've got a file renamer. Yeah, I do. Right then. So, laser sprites, here we go, set A. Right, so we're going to, 
What am I going to do with these? Um, prefix them with A. Uh, we're not going to include the file name. We're not going to include a dash. And we're going to do it down to that. Um, no, no, we'll we'll do this. Laser A, that's it. So laser A, and so prefix to the three because that's what we've done. And the extension. Leave unchanged. Right. So, preview. Oh, I want to start from zero. Start from zero. Start from zero. Preview. Oops. Oh, that's strange. I can't start from zero. Oh! Start from <laughs> start from zero. That's better. Right. Apply. Right, that's that one done. Go to the next one. So this is laser B. Preview. Yep. Yeah. Apply. Laser C. Preview. Yep, they look alright to me. D Yep. E. Preview apply. F. Preview apply. And G. Preview apply. Um, the tool is called Fi File Renamer Basic. It's a freebie. Um, uh, have they got a website? Let's uh, have a look. Visit our website. There you go. There you go. It's a re really, really good tool when you need it. Have another bit of my sandwich. Right. So we're wanting, we're looking at these, yeah? We're looking at that one and we're looking at, what was it? Laser CO2, C002, I think it was, wasn't it? That's the one we was looking at. So, bolt rename utility. All right. Hmm. Wow, there's a <laughs> There's a few options in that, isn't there? <laughs> wow. Right, that can be uh, that can be stored away. Thank you very much, Sunset. I will certainly look at that. Right. So the this is the late this is the the laser set that we're thinking of, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to Right, this is a laser set, but I, that, I'm now thinking of not using those. So um, let me let me just put let me just change the names to say bombs. So 
to lasers. Here we go. So we've got the different sets. So we've got all different ways of killing everybody. So we've got that. But we are interested in set C. This is the one that we're interested in. Yeah. So let me put that over there so I can still see it. Minimise it a bit so I don't obliterate everything. So, um, so our image, our directory is, so image dir is equal. So we might as well copy the player one. So laser and set C. <laughs> oh my God, DIR. <laughs> right, and then we initialize our element. So the bomb, the laser is going to have. Um, yeah. I think, I think, so we are talking um, with, where are they? Where are they? Uh, we've got nine of them. So, I, 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 ooh, I've got so many plans, I don't know what to do. Right, I have an idea. <laughs> yes, there is that. Hey, wait, 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 mate, wait, wait. I, I do just wait. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. I didn't think we'd had enough, have, have enough, but what I, right, what I was thinking, there's, there's so many possibilities, yes, what I was thinking, right, was that the laser colour would change for the wave, because we have nine, yeah, we have nine other colours, and we have nine waves, and I thought of having a different colour for the waves, yeah, So, and I was trying to figure out how to do it, but since you've just said that, since you've just said that, it just gave me the idea. So we just pass in the wave. Right? So, um, we need to do, we need to do the animation. Yeah? But we need to, we need, right. <laughs> no, 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 no. We, we, we seem to. We seem to. This game will be called Arcadia. <laughs> it, it shows you how close these games are in reality when you're developing them. Yeah. Um. So we need to. The problem is we need to. The the animation is not going to be straightforward. Yeah. Um, 
One is because the the images are on that way, yeah. But I was just trying to think. I was just trying to think if have I got a bulk image converter thing? And I don't think I have. I don't think I have. Hang on. Does does my tool do batch images? Uh, does it do batches? No. Yeah, I thought it would be pushing it too much to do batches. So we're gonna have to code it. We're gonna have to code it to um, turn it, turn it, and. Um, so the element we can still load. We can still do the uh, load element. We, we can still do the load animation frame. Yeah, we can still do that. It's just that when we when the when we get the image the image frame back, we're gonna have to do a little bit of work with it. So let's let's do that. So, um, so. Um, All right. All right, that's another one I'm keeping in the history. I'll have a look at that off stream. Python pillow. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're gonna we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. Right. So we've got this thing called animation. Yeah. So we're gonna use that. So. Let's let's do the load, yeah. So in the we're still in the initializer, yeah. So image equals uh, image one equals um, super dot load load. Load animation frame. Why can't you remember? Why can't you know? I bet you know about it now. Yeah, of course you know about it now. Right. So we know we know what it is. Um, the file name is laser C. So laser C. And we know what the number is. The frame number, because we are passing it in wave. So wave zero. Oh, wave minus one. Because we'll be passing in wave one, wave two, wave three, and we've got zero to eight. So it's minus one. So wave minus one. So that gets image one. Yeah. So with this image, we're going to have to do some manipulation with it. So let's have a look what we can do with the images. So, um, my sneaky suspicion is in here. Image dot load, yes. Image load, save. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Transform. Rotate. There we go. That's what we're looking at. Rotate. So, um, we load the image and then we're going to do some rotation. So... Right, unf unfiltered counterclock rotation. The, ang the angle argument represents the degrees and can be any floating point value. Negative 
negative angle amounts will rotate clockwise. So we want to go counterclockwise. So we want to do 90. Right, so we want to do 90. So here we are going to go um, equals uh, pi game dot transform uh, dot transform dot rotate rotate I think that's what it was wasn't it rotate yeah rotate uh, the image which is image 1 comma 90 so that's rotated it so now we're gonna self dot animation dot append image one but now now we are going to go um, image one equals pi game dot transform oh hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on let's do this image two transform dot flip I think that was the other one I think flip was the other one uh, flip vertically or horizontally so um, this can flip the surface either vertically or horizontally or both the arguments flip X and flip Y are booleans that control whether to flip each axis so I presume we want to flip Y no Oh, axis, yeah, Y. Flip Y. Yes. So, image, comma, false, comma, true. And then we'll add that to the animation set. So, I think, have we got number of frames actually in here? No, we haven't. Oh yeah, image isn't rotated. Yeah, image one. Yeah. Good call. Good call. still got three sandwiches to eat um so that should now give us an animation set of two yeah give us an animation set of two now the thing I was thinking of was in here um, we've got ticks per frame so if we've got but we we want it to yeah we want it to spin we want it to do it quickly do we 
let me put this let me put this in the um, in here because I want it available to every every um, everyone I don't think I don't think this should be in everyone so if we've got if we've got two frames we've got two frames how fast do we want it to how fast do we want it to uh, flicker per second four do four changes yeah every frame will be too quick so do so we have it on for a quarter of a second. I think we should just try it with a quarter of a second, yeah? Yeah, get it moving and then decide, yeah. So we've got two frames and we, we initialize our X and Y. Um, <clears throat> that should be it. We've got no events, we've just got the update to do. So, we've got no events, so def update. So the update is just basically um, doing the update. Now, if we use the move, if we use the move, then we've got the problem of We've got the problem of the screen edge test. And here we... We don't want to test for the screen edge at the top. We'll manually test for it. So we definitely need it to go off the edge of the page, yeah? So we're going to have to... We're going to have to control all that ourselves. So, so here we go. Self dot y equals um, twenty four pixels per frame. All right. Then, um, if right, how? How big are these images? How big are they? Whoa, they are massive. We're going to have to scale this. We are definitely going to have to scale them. But we'll just, we'll put a, we'll put a Let the bullets run out of steam at half screen so you've got to get close to the aliens. <laughs> oh, right, okay, I see what you mean. You are, you've got Arcadia on the brain, haven't you? Because that's Arcadia, isn't it? That is Arcadia. <laughs> uh, we could do that. But let's let's just get it so it's going off the screen. So if self dot y, um, so the the center of y is less than um, minus self dot rec. Yeah, so that's gone off the screen. Then we're going to say self dot done equals true. So that's basically going to tell the the game 
object that this bullet is done, yeah, to deal with it, yeah. Else, we are going to tell it where the center of the bullet is. Alright. So, um, anything else? We've got no image. Uh, we've got no start image. Uh, we need to set the start image. So, um, uh, super Set animation frame. Um, frame image will say zero, comma true. So that sets the frame, and that also sets the um, the rec. Yes, it does. That sets the rec. Right. Let's see what this looks like on screen. So um, we're just gonna do, we're just gonna we're just gonna create a single one at the moment, yeah. Just to see, just to see what it looks like on the screen, yeah. So if I just for play purposes, self dot all sprites. Dot add open bracket um, bullet dot bullet oh we gotta create it first don't we oh, that's the only problem alright okay um, bullet now we have to do that Self, comma, and we'll put it um, where are we six, eight, eight hundred be nine hundred, aren't we? So we'll put it at two hundred, comma two hundred. We'll put it there. And um, wave one, and then we'll add that. We'll add that to that. Right, let's see if that moves up the screen. Oh, have I got into caps lock? No import bullet from bullet. Where's in game? Oh. Couldn't open, oh, hang on. Have I put an extra what's it thing in it? Yes, I have. Couldn't open assets, laser set C, laser treble zero. Right, let's see. Oh, you're joking me. It is there. L oh, my bad, my bad. Lasers. Int object. Object has no attributes, get wreck. Self dot image, oh, hang on. Did 
set animation frame. But we've added two. Oh, frame image, frame image. Okay, 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 okay. So we are doing that. Oh, see, I'm forgetting my own code. Right, we are doing that. So it should fly up the screen. <laughs> or not. Did you see that? <laughs> it's going sideways. <laughs> it's going sideways. Have I got my... Oh... Nice, so that does go off the screen. Nice, right. So let's get rid of it out of here. So what we need to do now is we need to create a bullet group, yeah? We need to create a dedicated bullet group that the game has to look after, yeah? Um, So, we're going to create a dedicated bullet group in here. So, self.bullets uh, equals pygame.sprite.group. So, this is a dedicated sprite group that's going to be for bullets. Whoops, going to be for bullets. And then we need to initialize it, yeah, um, here. So self.bullets.clear. So that clears it out, or oh, not clear, it's empty. So that clears out the group, just in case there's any artifacts left over, yeah? So the player then w is going to add bullets to this group. Right, remember that the player adds bullets to the group. The bullet doesn't need to know about the player, yeah. And then what we need to do is in the game update, we need to update the bullet group. So self dot update uh, bullets dot update. All right. And then, once we've done all the updates, we need to um, have a mechanism for getting rid of the bullets, right? So, whoops. What is going on? What? I'm only going once. So we needed a mechanism to get rid of the bullets. Now, the mechanism that I um, had on my prototype was we're gonna do remove done bullets. Because if we don't remove the bullets out of the group, then we'll end up with a group that's constantly getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, because we're not getting rid of the sprites. We've flagged that they're done, but we're not getting rid of them. We're just stacking them on, on there. Yeah. So we need to do for each bullet. Yeah. In self.bullets. Well, then we test it. If each bullet dot done I think it was a little D wasn't it yeah little D if it's done then we do self dot bullets dot remove each bullet
Right, so once we've done all the updates, right, the final thing we do in this update here is then remove any bullets. Yeah, we've done the update and the bullets um, and the bullets would have w um, flagged themselves as I'm off the screen and then we just need to remove them from the group or we end up with a group that gets bigger and bigger and bigger and we don't want to do that, right? We just want to keep the bullets in there that are currently active. So we've done that. That's in terms of the game, that's it. It's it's I'm looking after bullets, yeah? So we need now player to fire a bullet. All right? So we need to in the events in here because we've got the keyboards. We need to then think, right, how are we going to shoot a bullet? What is the thing that's going to make me shoot a bullet? Yes. So, I think we'll use the space bar as the, the bullet thingy. So, if keys, uh, pi game dot keys, I think it's space. Let me just have a look. Is it space? Key space? Yes, it is. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say um, self.game because we know about the game object. So now we know about the bullet object. Yeah. Uh, did, it, did I call it bullets or bullet? Bullets. Bullets as in plural. Bullets. Dot. And then we can just do add. All right. So we're going to add. Oh, we need to we need to import bullet because we need to know what the functionality is for bullet. Import bullet. So bullet dot bullet. Open bracket. Right. Self got dot game because we know about game and. Uh, we don't know about the wave. That's a good point. We don't know about the wave. But then again, we know about game, and game can have the wave in there. So let's put the wave in here. So new game. Um, let's put it down here. So self.wave equals 1. There we go. So here... Go back down here. So we know about game now. So, so comma x and y. So we are our x and y point is halfway down. Yeah. So it's halfway down, and so we need to add half our height to make it look like it's coming out the top. Yeah. So the x is going to be self to x, but the y. Is going to be self dot y. Let's put some brackets around this to make sure we're all right. Plus self dot rec dot height divided by two. So that should put it should put it there. Yeah. And then wave. Well, that's self dot game dot wave. That's it. That should put a bullet on the screen. Well, let's see. See if my logic works. Player update. There's a problem with the player update. Oh, oh, I see. Missing the bracket.
Yeah, for me and you are on the same, 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 uh, right, here we go, same plane, right. So, do we, do we add any bullets? According to this, no. So why are we not adding any bullets? Am I... Out of ammo. <laughs> yeah, out of ammo. Right, let's just see if we're adding bullets, yeah? Oh, 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 I've forgot something, haven't I? I forgot something. Are we drawing the bullets? Are we drawing the bullets? No, we're not. Right, self dot bullets dot draw self dot screen that would help to draw them um, we're doing the update but we're not drawing them right let's see okay here we go fingers crossed everybody Let's just let's just slow that down a bit, right? Let's just let's 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 enjoy the majest, majesty of our fantastic laser. Here we go. Oh, the absolute size of it! <laughs> yeah, and also, also we started in the wrong place as well so it's got to be negative because we started below the ship right let's try that again right here we go so it started in the right place it's not animated because we haven't put the animation in yet right we've just got it on the screen but if you notice because we're sent, because we've centered it, we've got it. I'm, 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 I'm. Let's put it back to the same normal speed. I'm just wondering if it's an issue. I'm just wondering if it's an issue, or it's just me being picky. Right. So this is the normal speed. Boom! 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 boom. Right, we've got to do something with the bullet, the the laser. It's way, 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 way too big. Right, let's just slow it down so we can, so we can see it. So it's way too big, yeah. It's way too big. So we've got to, we've got to, we've got to scale it down. Now there is a function I think called scale in here. There it is. So resize the surface to a new given, new size or given as height or width. This is the fast scale option that does not need the not does not sample the result. Okay. So. Um, An option, an optional dis destination surface can be used rather than have it create a new one. This is quicker if you repeatedly scale something. Okay, so how are we going to scale? How are we going to scale? Um, resize, resize the surface to a new size. So we've got to give it the height and width. Right, so we've got to give it the height and width. Yes, we'll be doing it at the same time. So our height, so when we've rotated it, when we've rot rotated it, 
our height is 202 pic 212 pixels by 92 wide. So, um, how big? So if we're going to try and... If we're going to try and scale it, we need to scale it properly. Let me use my paint program. Right, so let's do image resize. So we're going to do it by percentage, and you said 50. So that's a hundred. That's 160. That's the length of the ship. That's still the length of the ship. Should we do 25? 53. That's probably better. That's a third of the length of the ship. So let's do that. So that means that the height is 53 by 23. Right, so let's re let's scale it. 53 by 23. So bullet. So we've rotated it and now we're going to have to scale it. Ooh. Okay, okay. We'll give it a go. Right, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. So, so it's uh, Roto Zoom. So, image, 90 degrees. Ninety degrees. Um, scale is a floating point number. So that's, if we want, okay. Oh, it doesn't, right, okay. What? Scale argument is floating point value that will be multiplied. Okay, so if we put one in, that's the actual size. So we're looking at 0.25. Okay. Yeah, everybody agreed that that's, that looks about right? Right then, we've got it on slow-mo. So let's see. All right, here we go. Does that look about right? Everybody happy with that? Nice. Right. Try point two. Okay. Hello. Did you enjoy your movie? Two movies. Two movies? You watched two Fifty Shades of Grey? Yes. Really? Have I? Yes. Five hours? I'm going to bed. You're going to bed? Yes. Okay. Night. Night. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. I didn't realise what time it was. They say good night. Right, okay, so um now there is something else I want to do as well. Is I want to do um the sh the ship the ship is um 
How wide's the ship? Right. Oh, it's 96 wide. So half of that is 45, 48. Um, forty-eight. So if it's forty-eight, then if I do half again, that's twenty-four. Right. Right. So let's. They're too far, they're too far. Um, now, are they too close to each other? I don't think they're too, I think they're about right, aren't they? I think they're about right. Right, right, let's get the animation. Let's get the animation done. Right, so the animation has to happen in the update, yeah? Because that's where we're updating the frame. So if we cop, if we take a leaf out of the player, which is this, yeah? Grab that and put it in the update here. So we'll do that. So we don't need that. We don't need that or that. So the, the, the question is now, how fast do we want it to um, animate during the, the frame? And um, we, we said a quarter of a second, wasn't it? Yeah? So we need to work out, okay, so we need, so we set a quarter of a second number of frames. Now the number of frames that we've got in bullet is only two. So we're gonna have to hardwire this. We're gonna have to hardwire this and say four. Yeah. And then this, this is gonna give us a number between zero and four. Are you alright? Yeah, I've just seen the starters. Just check if you're still alright for a drink. Yeah, I'm, I'm alright. Thank right. you. So we're going to get a number between 0 and 4. And so what we need to do is we need to divide this by 2 to give us a number between 0 and 1. Yeah? So frame number equals frame number. Is it percentage? That gives us the remainder, doesn't it? Yeah, I think mod is percentage in Python, isn't it? Oh, Nico's digging for Ireland again. Ah, there, yeah, modulus. Right. So we've got. So that should give us a, a. That should give us a number between zero and one all the time. Yeah. So we then need our animation. We need our animation and then put it in there. Right, so we've got it on slow, so we can see if it's doing it. Let's see if it animates on the way up. 
Right, here we go. It's not quite what I thought. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> not quite what I was expecting. <laughs> right, let's let's get this flip done right. So we want that to be true and false. So our ship fire. There we go. Do you think that's quick enough? Or does it need to be quicker? Yeah. So, um, so we need to speed it up. So, um, let's make it do it twice as many. That looks more like it. Right, let's put the... <laughs> yeah. I don't think we could see it anyway. <laughs> Let's put it back to four. <laughs> I can't tell now. All that code in it goes to waste. <laughs> uh, put it back to four. You can't tell, it's too quick. Well, we know it does it. <laughs> you just can't tell. Right, so we've got a bit of a problem now. Look. We could keep it on all the time, look. So we need some sort of cooling down mechanism in place. Um, so we need some uh, oh, cooling down. So the typical cooling down mechanism is having a timer. Um, where we uh, so we need a setting so we need to put a setting in here um, class player right um, so we'll call it reload time Make them slow, make it slow down as time increases. Ooh. <laughs> that is not nice. Not nice at all. Right, so. So, uh, reload time. So we'll make. I'll do the same as I did with. Um, Pyroids. So we say that the reload time is a twentieth of a second, yeah? So we need to then, in player, we need to have a, a reload time, yeah? So, um,. Trying to remember. 
Oh yeah, yeah, I remember now. Um, so we've got to, we've got to have, we've got to have a, the the. Did I did the fire timer, didn't I? Yeah, here we go. Self dot fire timer. It needs to increase until the fireball is released. Yeah. Um, right. So we've got a timer. Um, minus equals one. So we set the fire timer. Yeah. And so the timer's counting down. So what we need to do is we need to go if um, self dot fire timer um, is less than zero um, and um, tick counter Tick counter. And tick counter is greater than zero. Or that. Right, and then we do the de we do the um, the debounce. So we add the bullet. Um, we add the bullet. Um, Didn't see that. But we should be all right. It's just the fire, right. Reload time. Right, that should do it. So, oh, it's not firing now. Okay. What am I, what am I doing wrong? Tick counters going up. If the fire counter is less than zero, which it is, and the tick counter is greater than zero, um, I'm confused now. Um, self dot timer. What am I using that for?
Okay. I need another timer. Just call it timer. I need another timer that is only... That is only... When is it updated? Yes, I think it does. I think it does. Because we've got keys pressed. You know, we've got uh, to see if a cold uh, a key's been re uh, repeated. Um, no, we haven't. Not on release anyway. I think this is where this this mechanism that I put in here does it. But I'm just trying to figure out where the timer is. Frame. I'm just trying to find out where I update the frame. Frame equals. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Right, okay. So, t timer. So, timer's here. <laughs> oh, bless me. This now goes there. <laughs> so that's that's to stop the holding down. I think. Does that work? No. Why doesn't it work? What am I missing? Oh. Well, he's firing. Hmm. Let's take that this out. Let's take that out. I think that's confusing matters. Self dot fire timer in events, and we're running events. Where's game? There it is. We're running events. Yep. Yeah. So player events. So that's fine. So that's this is bit firing sixty times a second. That. Oh, I've just spotted what the problem was. Hang on. I'm still based on timer, the tick count. Ooh. Right. There we go. So you can keep it can keep it on but we can put a debounce in it um, we can put a debounce in it so we've got it so it's doing this um, 
but then we need to check uh, well the question is do we want to, people to hold down the space bar I presume that's a no yeah the the the, the thing is that um, yeah so what we need is Have we fired? Yeah? Because what we want to do is we can check to see. Yeah? So if we do if keys um, pi game dot k space. Yeah? Then self dot have we fired equals true hold down space and gap between shots get longer yeah You mean the reload time? Yeah. So, um, best thing to do then is to do that afterwards. There then, do it there. If the, sp if the space has been pressed, um, and self and not self dot have we fired then have we fired equals true but if the if it's space and fired which i think is this one Now, let's do this. If not, if we've got this, if the key's been pressed and it's still and it's pressed, and where we have not fired. Yeah, our flag has not been activated then we activate it if the f if we've pressed and the flag is activated then self dot uh, fire timer equals settings dot player dot reload time and we will let's really show it right oh have I missed a colon So, just to go through this, if we press the space, right, we've fired a bullet, yeah? If we've pressed the space and we have not, our flag is not set, then we set it. And then every, everything's fine. We do the normal reload time, yeah? So, it'll go through again. If the space is still pressed, yeah? And our flag is set, then we make our dip fire reload time ten times longer. 
if they have not pressed the space bar we reset have not fired that should do it right here we go should I press it once I think that's made it too long um, point point zero five so that was five percent delay uh, so if we times it by two that's ten percent times by four is twenty percent let's do that right pressing constantly no no where we are totally wrong on this somewhere not going to work is it it's just going to keep resetting it's just keep setting the load time um, Yeah, that's why I've just put that the, the reload time back in place. But it's now uh, it's just resetting the timer. Uh, let's get rid of that. So that was a waste of time. Um. Get repeat. S gets the descriptive name of the button from the keyboard ID constant. No? Oh, here we go. Get repeat. See how held keys are repeated. Oh, that's that's not it. Okay. How are we going to do this? Well, right, that can be something for you guys to mess to come up with, yeah? How can we stop this? We've got it so it's it's got a reload time. I mean, you can't hit it any faster because of the reload time. Right, I want to check something. Uh, wave 2. No, wave... Hang on. What's the purple one? The purple one is two. So that's going to be three. different color when we're on the different waves and also we've got the because we've got more lasers we've got all those other sets you know we could start putting power-ups in where you could have bigger lasers and more of them 
<laughs> uh, we can't even stop them repeating. So, reload time needs to be in fired. You saying that? Nah, mate. It's nah. It's oops. Yes, homework. Because we've got quite a lot done. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's took us a long time to get this, but. You know, it's starting to come together. And I'm telling you now, by tomorrow, you know, we're gonna have, we're gonna have roll, rolling um, things. Uh, we'll have a background, rolling background. Yeah, because it's pretty late and apparently I've been streaming forever. Five and a half hours. <laughs> so, Let's get this sorted, right? Let's get this. Let's get this in Git, right? So we're going to add that, 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 that. Right. We're not going to add any of those or those. All those, not yet anyway, all those, uh, we've got not going to add any of those, all those, they're the bombs, they're the digital effects, we're not going to do them yet, all the explosions, Voiceovers, right, lasers, here we go. So put them all in. Cool, this is gonna be slow, isn't it? Can I do blocks? Aha. So I'm putting all the lasers in, so you can mess around with the different lasers. Yeah. Um, not doing any of those yet. So the ship's going in. Oh, it's the, it was the spaceship one, wasn't it? It was them, yeah. I think that's everything. I don't think we have anything else in there. We haven't done the shield yet. Right. So, episode... Code changes. Okay. So, should be able to push that. So, you guys should be able to see that now. There you go, assets, lasers, and spaceship. Uh, 
and then we'll continue this tomorrow. So hopefully you guys will come up with a way to stop the space bar and <laughs> if you if you if you create if you do figure it out create a pull request and I'll have a look at it and add it to ours and um, we'll take it from there tomorrow so tomorrow we'll, sh we'll add the we'll add the shield in and and then we'll start adding the aliens in because we've got the we've got the bare bones scaffolding in place it's just a case of adding them and then we just build out the game and add all those tweaks that make it look like a polished game yeah i think we should be around about there i'll let you know if it's sooner all right so thank you very much guys and i will see you tomorrow take care bye I'd like to thank all the Patreons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.